This is Andrew Garda for NJ.com and NJ Advanced Media reporting from Walsh Gym, where the Seton Hall Pirates have run away from the main Black Bears, 72 to 43. It was never really in doubt. Uh, they were down 5 0 at the start of the game, but then the Seton Hall Pirates went on a 21 0 run, and then it was all over from there. Coach Willard really enjoyed having this buffer game with Isaiah Whitehead down, it gave him a chance to try out some different things with his team. And also, being back in front of the home crowd at Walsh, he felt like really gave them an advantage. I think it's always good to play here because it gives a chance for the alumni to come back to campus and spend an afternoon on campus, which they don't, they don't get a whole lot. And parking's pretty easy this time of year. Along with Isaiah Whitehead, who's still suffering from a stress fracture, they didn't really have the services of Brandon Mobley. Mobley had flu-like symptoms, wasn't really feeling well, and Willard said this has been going on since practice around Christmas. We came back Christmas night and he, he had 104 fever. He didn't look good. So he had Christmas off and then he had the 26 off. He could have, he felt better, but um, I was just thinking this is a good time to see what Desi and, and Ish could do. Despite not having Mobley for more than three minutes, despite not having Whitehead, this team played very well. We saw a lot out of Kadeen Carrington. He played exceptionally well, put in, the, put in almost as many points as starter Sterling Gibbs. And we also saw Air Manga make a return. Stefan Manga with a nice dunk off an alley-oop. Overall, this was a very good game and just a sort of tune-up that Seton Hall needs before tasting, taking on St. John's on New Year's Eve. This is Andrew Garter reporting to you for NJ.com and NJ Advanced Media.